Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new video. And in for this video, we're gonna talk about the recently added news for Avengers Endgame since it in the in my my country here it's less than one month less than one month before we get before I get to see and watch Endgame and pretty much we we haven't talked about it yet on this channel so I feel like there's a need for a video and I'm sure this is one of those that I'm talking about so I was not really fully surprised or shocked on the, the recent reveal of the post revealing who has died from the snap which was the obvious one and those who survived the snap which is not even surprising at all really no fake some fake emotions or what especially to Valkyrie which I really really knew it that she survived but it's really sad for all of those other character who didn't make it for the poster like Korg and Meek yeah the, the, the buddies the two best buddies we miss them I know then as for Happy Hogan I'm really sur surprised to see him in the poster I think he will have a He will be a part of Endgame as well. And also Pepper Pots, which is another character that is expected to be on a poster. Because that only means that she is will be the one to rescue Tony from outer space. But then it's fun. It's a funny thing, actually. I've read uh, an article talking about the the endgame theories that the trailer is misleading the audience in a way that Tony is not really Tony. Whoops! I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying that. It's funny, based on how the articles I read online saying that uh, apparently Tony Stark, I mean the Tony Stark you see on the trailer is a scroll, which, which made me wonder why right, how are, how are they going to bring in the scroll to end game I mean how they're gonna insert them not that I know that they're really good for plot twists actually since that they can easily blend in to you know be like a disguised as a normal human but no 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 no, no. to be honest I really don't wanna expect Speculate and concentrate and focus much on the theories on Endgame because I'm not, I'm trying to not expect anything for the Endgame aside from the fact that it will be good and probably, no, not probably, it should be the best movie I will ever watch this year. Knowing that the runtime for the movie, which is 
quite a good amount. Three hours and two minutes. I guess two minutes for the end credit scenes and the post credit scenes, which brings us to all question questioning what it could possibly since there's are there are many possibilities first up uh, the Muerla I think they're gonna the spotlight will shine on Adam Muerla on the last of we on we last see him on the Guardians of the Galaxy post credit scene so apparently that Guardians of the Galaxy that scene is some sort of teaser then you Actually, they're planning to introduce more character to the MCU, like Quasar and a lot more. And then, the, after the 20, after MCU owning X Men now, I believe that is the highest possibility of what the post credit and the end credit will be. For this movie, it's. I think it will be somehow related to the X Men, or even better, since Phase Four is. They're going galactic on the Phase Four, so I guess Galactus would show up. That would be. A twist and then Silver Surfer <laughs> funny Silver Surfer oh wait Silver Surfer right and then Fantastic Four or the one of the biggest bad baddest of them all the Doom which makes sense and there's a possibility okay fair enough those things a lot of possibilities coming out our way so yeah let's just first focus on the poster so yeah and talk about this so the first stuff is Tony uh, it's there's not a lot of things to say for Tony in this one. Aside from the fact that I'm glad that he made it through back to Earth. Yeah. And then Captain America. Well, well, well. We just see how it goes for Captain America I guess this will be the emotional drag of the movie the, yeah the drama the drama side of Endgame and then yeah Scarlet Witch back Back at her, back at her own uh, original look. Although, yeah, it may take some time to grow her hair back. I mean, to you know, her hair grows back. Then Thor. He's probably in a tough situation now after you know Infinity War and yeah I just feel pretty sad for him really after everything that had happened to his life and then the failure of killing Thanos which he keeps on blaming himself for it. 
Yeah, it's just pretty sad. But oh wait, look at that poster. Look at that eyes, dude. Eyes. It's funny. <laughs> one brown and one blue. Yeah. Well, after what he did on Infinity War, I'll be expect. Actually, I am expecting more from him on the next. Um, the upcoming end game on what he will do. Probably he's gonna, you know, go slowly recover to his normal self, then unleash Thunder God. Then, wow, Ronin with the with that with that classy hairstyle. I'm wondering if I should get that kind of hairstyle for yeah after watching Endgame. <laughs> Show a total support for Ronin. Then we have Bruce Banner slash the Hulk. So another thing that keeps the keeps the fans waiting is whether or not we'll see the. Big Green Hulk again, or it's going to be Professor Hulk, or worst case scenario, just Doctor Bruce Banner. I mean that's not bad, right? I mean he got the brains and all stuff. He could be a perfect. Perfect person, we will be our perfect right person to work along with Tony on his texts and stuff, science. Yeah, we all need a boost banner in life. And then, yeah, Captain Marvel. Nice. After the, I mean. When I watched the trailer two for Endgame, I feel like not only I but a lot of you guys are feeling something's up with Thor and Captain Marvel, or even Captain Marvel against the Avengers. What I meant by that is. Intro, friendly fight. Uh, I don't know who you are, guys are. Things like that. Yeah, yeah. We all know that. We all know that. We have Nebula. Hmm. Just Nebula. I guess there's not a lot and much to say about Nebula, but just Nebula. Oko ye. It's really wonderful to to see the cool crew back again at on Endgame. Is I'm I fear that they won't include the. Everyone for the end game. So yeah, Okoye is hopefully will be back, and we have War Machine. Yeah, War Machine. Just war machine. After every, after the every scene that he's about to die, <laughs> we all move on to that. 
hopefully hopefully though he won't really die this time because it will really be a freaking the biggest plot twist ever that will make you cry yeah so please war machine try not to get killed yeah try not to get yourself killed to keep keep the fans happy and all and then rocket raccoon yeah a moment of silence for the real life for a raccoon thing for playing the role of rocket raccoon Probably for. Uh, uh, I just really don't know what to say, but I'm really looking forward to the next Guardians of the Galaxy, which I'm wishing to be well and know. After James Gunn is being really hard and I hope it doesn't make things worse just, just keep it cool and yeah you know what I mean okay. then whoa Ant-Man yeah He's gonna be the funny dude. He's gonna bring you, sm bring your smiles up whenever you feel sad about something. I don't know because I feel like this end game will be a mixture of a happy, sad, angry maybe moments that will really blow your mind. And then Valkyrie, yes. So we don't exactly know how she will enter the end game because I say the same as to Captain Marvel, she's kind of new to this to the the whole Avengers thing and the saving the world. But I, but I guess Thor will be like the uh, one who will like be, will be like, oh, I know, I know her. Let me introduce you to the team and all of that. Yeah. And then whoa, Wong. You know about everything I said, said a while ago. I sort of lied because I never thought. I thought Wong vanish along with the others through the snap and did not make it. But then this post this poster with his face colored only means Yep, he survived. Amazing. Right, amazing. Yeah, amazing. And then whoa pepper pots. I'm not surprised at all. This Sony confirms she'll be the one saving Iron Man. Yeah, we guess so. We all know it will happen. And then Happy Hogan. Whoa, what are you doing here? No, I don't hate this guy. I don't hate this guy at all. Or I got no beef with this guy. Things like that. But yeah, I'm just... Shocked to find him along with a uh, other poster for the end game. I mean, he's just for the, the Spider-Man, as we all know, Homecoming, Far From Home. But the more the, the merrier, I guess, for the characters. Then whoa. 
this is the card for those who did not make it at all so black panther wait before i start for start on this part on for those who did not make it to the end of infinity war there's just really one question that bothers me about the movie I'm wondering if we will get to see all those characters who did not make it to the end of the Infinity War on this film, on the action scene, or they'll be like last minute, then poof, they're back. They're back and alive, right? really something that you want to ask for the movie so yeah well a lot much to say for those who did not make it because yeah I only have that one question in my mind that makes me wonder how they're going to do about it so yeah I think we'll just fast forward to the characters that did not make it Apparently, I think they, they, there's, I have this one theory that they did not really kill or end the character's life. I mean, those characters who you see died on screen on Infinity War like Heimdall, Loki, and Vision because all I was thinking is maybe they were like partying and so still like yeah we're still alive bro catch you guys soon if you can help me get out yeah that kind of stuff. So I think this movie to leaning more on the happier side of things, although the plot twist and pos possible death to pull you over to the sad sad part more then yeah this is the last thing that I'll be talking about for this video which is vision so is this the end for vision no, maybe not this, but Infinity War. Is it the end of Vision? There is a possibility that is included on the people who are now trapped in the Soul Stone and not. And I think... Sh and I think... Shuri is missing somehow connected to the, this to vision the not vision but his mind stone 
So there's really a chance that Shuri is still alive. I don't know why why my hopes are that high for the survival survival chance of Shuri even though yeah they included her in the ones who did not make it to Infinity War which is kind of a WTF moment for this movie yeah I guess that's all we'll just see when the movie comes I'll be sure to watch it as early as possible to give you guys my review for it the non-spoiler review which I'm happy that I was able to do for the Captain Marvel so yeah it was my first time doing it by the way the try to not spoil a movie review so, hmm well done